A severe rainstorm hits Wapaka County, causing flooding, evacuations, and the destruction of a central landmark in one city. Now, the floodwaters are long gone, but the impact still remains. I'm Noah Cornelius, and I've been visiting Manawa for the past month, speaking with the community on how they're planning their next steps forward. On July 5th, a powerful storm hit the small city of Manawa. Pressure from flood water eroded earth along the Mill Pond Dam, sending millions of gallons of water downstream. People were forced to evacuate. Have you ever seen anything like this before? No, not in person, you know, certainly on TV, but no, never in person. This is kind of crazy. Homes flooded and parks damaged, but no one seriously injured or killed. The pond, however, is gone, drained to prevent even worse flooding. Fishing was a big thing and our obviously pontoon that we wanted that just sitting there and I was SS Minnow now, <laughs> marooned. Neighbors like Heather Walbrook now without a waterfront that defined their property. I don't know. I mean, I, I love my house, so I'm not going <laughs> to just sell it just because of the water. But that was literally the main attraction to it. More than 16 years ago, Lake Delton in central Wisconsin also disappeared after flood pressure destroyed an embankment, draining the lake. Homes were destroyed. An economy hit hard. But Lake Delton over the years built back. Manawa, now weeks after the disaster, plans to do the same. I move that we move forward with trying to essentially reestablish the mill pond um, to at least the level that it was before. A city council united to get it done. All those in favor of state by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. The council says they don't have a timeline yet, know how much it will cost, or if they can even fund it. The city is waiting to learn if it can receive relief from the state. Mayor Mike Frazier says he's proud of his little city's resilience so far. This is Wisconsin and this is what makes a small community great. Because he knows they want to build back from this devastating day. Despite everything that's happened, the city tells me there is one thing they're looking forward to. Manawa's 150th birthday, which will be taking place from August 1st to August 3rd. They'll hope to raise funds to rebuild what was lost to flooding and to celebrate the city's resilience. In Manawa, Noah Cornelius, NBC 26.